For 70 years, the UN Relief and Works Agency has operated refugee camps for Palestinians. It is about time to shut down UNRWA. They are not helping the Palestinians. Israeli ambassador to the UN, Danny Danone, tells CBN News hatred remains strong due to shocking incitement found in the Palestinian Authority school curriculum. Today, a Palestinian child, when he goes to the UNRWA school, he, he comes out hating Jews, incited, supporting Hamas. It shouldn't be that funding from Western democracies will support such curriculum. Israel welcomed the U.S. decision to stop funding UNRWA more than a year ago. Researcher David Bedin has studied Palestinian school books and UNRWA facilities for years. He says while it's not likely UNRWA will be shut down, donor nations should put conditions on their aid. Number one, take the school books away. We have school books here which uh, which honor murderers and throughout the books and talk about dying for the right of return. Number two, give people the option to leave the camps. Number three, there's $1.2 billion flowing into the UNRWA camps without any real oversight. In 1978, Dalal al-Mugrabi led a terror cell that killed 38 people, including 13 children. She's pictured as a martyr in a new school book for 321,000 children. Dalal al-Mugrabi as a role model for the children who are taught the concept in UNRWA schools of the right of return by force of arms. The right of return refers to the Palestinian demand that refugees from 1948 and millions of their descendants be allowed to return to their homes, most of which no longer exist. My name is Rasan Kuwa, and I am a refugee from the village of Malka. Today, Malka is a busy Israeli residential and commercial area in Jerusalem. Bedin's group recently produced a short film in Bethlehem's Aida refugee camp just a few miles from Jerusalem. There's no two-state or one-state solution. There's only one state, and it will be Palestine forever. And what was taken by battle will be reconquered through battle. We must conquer our land by force. This land is our land. There is no way to divide it. The children grow up with the idea that there is no Israel. It has to be ignored and or wiped out. But Dean believes the seeds of the next violent Palestinian uprising against Israel have already been planted in these camps. Julie Stahl, CBN News, Jerusalem.